Matt, thanks. People like Captain Richard Phillips and Susan Boyle achieve worldwide celebrity overnight. Now, why is that? NBC's Mike Taibbi has some thoughts for the day. I don't know about you, but these days I could sure use some good news. And the pilot, whose miracle on the Hudson landing saved the lives of all 155 people on board, the ship captain who offered up his life to Somali pirates to save the lives of his entire crew, and the middle-aged Scottish spinster with the voice of an angel are all as good as good news gets. When Philip stepped off the plane in Vermont, safe and finally home, some of the applause was from the assembled media. Welcome home! I know I was there, and I heard his utterly believable protestations that he was no hero. I am just a bit part in this story. I'm a small part. I'm a seaman doing the best he can, like all the other seamen out there. And Sully was so calm, telling air traffic control he had only one choice. We're going to get ahead. That after his splash landing, with no one even seriously injured, his modest everyman demeanor was as much a part of his instant legend as the precise and skillful actions he took. And Susan Boyle? Oh, the tigers come. World-class curmudgeon Simon Cowell doesn't have that reaction, and the world doesn't go as nuts as it did. If that stunning voice comes from a beauty queen or a Beyoncé look-alike, unlikely to say what Susan Boyle said. At the moment I live alone with my cat called Pebbles. Yes, it's easier to identify and root for people who seem more accessible. Not those bold-faced names like Paris or Jacko or Lindsay or Mel. But people just going about their lives until an unexpected moment when any of them, read any of us and the world if the world's watching, can see what we're really capable of. The market has been saturated with news about Britney and Lindsay and the like, and people grow tired of this. As the economy worsens, we're connecting with what people truly value. Well, that works for me. I mean, what's Paris Hilton famous for? A sex tape? And trying to copyright the phrase, that's hot? To avoid thinking about my 401k or the fate of GM or whether I'd ever be able to sell my house, I'll applaud Sully and Susan and Captain Richie Phillips anytime. For today, I'm Mike Taibbi.